Hi everyone, uh, myself Nagamani. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn what is Eclat form of a matrix with an example. Okay, so most of the people have uh, so many doubts like uh, why we have to interchange the rows and uh, what is the use of finding the rank of the matrix or why we have to solve the matrices problems. How these problems will help in our uh, real life. So these, uh, all these doubts, will, uh, I will explain you in this class. Okay. And uh, today, uh, before going to start uh, this, just to go through once the definition of uh, Eclam form or you can say that the steps we need to follow for solving the Eclam form of a matrix. Actually, why we have to learn this? Because whenever they are giving any matrix, they are asking to find the rank of the matrix using a column form of the matrix. So, for converting given matrix into uh, a column form of the matrix, we have to know that how uh, a column form looks and what conditions it follows. The for that we have to know these steps. Okay, just to go through once, I will uh, write an example. Uh, with the example, I will explain now so that you can understand. Easy, okay. Uh, I hope my writing is clear to everyone. Just uh, see, like uh, if we, uh, I have written one matrix, we don't know that whether it. Uh, I'm telling that it is an example for Eclam form of the matrix, but we don't know whether really it is an example for Eclam form of matrix or not. I have written randomly. So if you see here, definition, if a matrix is said to be Eclam form, if it follows all three statements, all three rules or conditions, statements, anything you can say if you follow these three conditions, then the matrix is said to be a clock form of a matrix. So if you see here, first one is all the zero rows, all the zero rows occur below non-zero rows. First statement is that all the zero rows occur below non-zero rows. So if you see here, here I have written one of them. So we will uh, we will give a name it as A matrix. Okay. If you see this A matrix here, there are four rows. Okay, four rows. This is if we will define the size of the matrix. Here there are number of four rows and five columns. So this is four by five matrix. Okay. If you see here, first we will see how many non-zero rows uh, elements are there, how many zero rows are there. If you see here, first is uh, here it is telling that all the zero rows occur below non-zero rows. First we have to know the what do you mean by zero rows. Okay. A row which are having complete zero elements, then that row is said to be zero row. Okay, so if you see here, here there are other than zero, there are so many numbers of them. So which is non zero a row, and here this is also non zero row because it having one, four, two, five numbers other than zero, and here also we are having one, four, eight numbers. And if you see the row, row here we will have complete. Zero elements. So we can say that this is a zero row. Here we are telling that all the zero rows occur below non zero rows. That means and here all the non zero rows, this is zero row. So this zero row should be uh, below the non zero rows. This is the first condition. So if you see here, this first condition is satisfied here. And next one we will see the, the first non-zero element in each non-zero row is one. That means if you see uh, all these three rows, first entry of the row should be one. Here it is telling that first non-zero element each non-zero row is one. So we have clarified. We know that these three are uh, first R one and R two. This is R three, R three non-zero. Rows. So here telling that on first entry of first entry other than zero, where the first entry is one. So here telling that first the first non-zero element in each non-zero row is non-zero row is 
one. So here also I'll take a one. And if you see the row three also, it's satisfying one. Okay. So that means every uh, row we satisfy in the second condition also. Okay. Next one is number of zero rows before the first non-zero element in your row is less than the number of such zeros in the next row. Here what uh, I will explain you in simple way. Here it is telling that here there are number of four rows are there. Okay, four rows are there. So if you see here, first row there is no zero. So we here row two and row three having more zeros. So we will compare R2 and R3. And also we will see R4. Okay, R2. In R2, how many zeros are there? Only one zero. So we come, we will count how many zeros? One zero. We'll see. In R3, how many zeros are there? Two. R4, how many? Five zeros are there. So here it is telling that if we write in a uh, here, which is R2, which has less than number of zeros of R3 row. And also if you see here, R3 row, which having less number of zeros compared to R4. Here also, like it is saying that number of zeros before that first non-zero element, which should be less than the number of zeros in the next row. Okay. That means R2 is less than R3 or R3 is less than R4. Here also it is satisfying the number of zeros are less than the next rows zeros. The, so here condition 3, rule 3 also applicable. That means it satisfying the all the three uh, statements or rows or conditions. So that means we can say that the given matrix is in a equal form of a matrix. Okay. This is uh, in these three steps, we can confirm that uh, uh, we uh, like whatever the final matrix will solve will guarantee whether the equal form of a matrix or not. You can say simple uh, in, in simple way, you can identify that it's like an upper triangular matrix. And you know, just for identification or remember purpose only. Um, you can't say that uh, row equal form is an upper trend of matrix, okay? And this is the definition for it. And I will explain the example now, okay? And I will see, if you want to take a screenshot of this class, you can take a... Hmm? Okay, next I will explain it. Okay. Okay, I brought the problem here. I hope uh, it is clear to everyone. And uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you in this here. Uh, we have seen for a given matrix into how to convert the across form of a matrix. But we have to know the definition of how to find the rank of the matrix. That is the question mark. Now. So I'll explain we have. So, in a long form of a matrix, the rank of the matrix which is equal to the rank of any given matrix which is equal to the number of non-zero, number of non-zero rows, number of non-zero rows of, of the matrix. of matrix which is equal to the number of non-zero rows of that matrix means the number of rows non-zero rows of a matrix of a matrix this is the definition now uh, we will convert this given matrix into the form of a matrix 